Hi, I'm Tammy Allen. Welcome to the 2050 Club, a club for level two humans. People who want to go beyond the boundaries, who want to access the superconscious, the internal information highway, who want to upgrade, optimize. We want to increase our bandwidth. If this sounds good to you, then I encourage you to keep watching because I am going to share some tools with you about how to maintain a connection with your inner guidance on a more consistent basis. So let's get started. The first thing I want to share really is uh, in the beginning, the morning, you know, when you wake up. You know, we all know that that is a great time to really pay attention to ideas, to dreams, to, you know, any information that might pop into our minds when we first wake up. For me, songs, you know, being a songwriter, I discovered that songs would just pop into my head when I woke up in the morning out of the blue and that they would have information for me. And sometimes that information was just happy, you know, sometimes it was that you're right on track, you know, keep on coming. And it's like, I'll take it. You know, the next thing that I think is extremely important is you want to start your day off on a high note in order to maintain it. And I don't know if you've heard of brain wave entrainment, but it doesn't take a scientist to figure out that when you are with somebody who's upbeat and uplifting, you listen to music that makes you feel good, you're right there with them. And if you're around somebody who's having problems, they're a little depressed, you tend to go down right there with them too. So when you're starting off your day, I always take time to maybe put on a YouTube video, something that might you know, be uplifting to me. Um, you know, somebody that might have information that's already tapped in. And as they're tapped in, pretty soon I start tapping in and I start feeling good. I might get some aha moments, you know, just anything. It could be journaling, whatever you can do to get yourself just in that space before you start your day. Even if it is just self-talk, you know, start becoming your own self-coach that just is pumping you up for your day. And I know it sounds silly, but my goodness, does it work. The next thing is the creative process. One of the things that has just helped me so much is I'm a songwriter. And I learned that when I would have an idea for a song, that I would go and be great, I'm inspired, and then pretty soon, nothing. That would be it. You know, I'd have a good verse or a good chorus and, you know, just nothing else. So I learned that if I walked away, if I kept it in my mind and I went and did the dishes or I might do some laundry or driving, just something that doesn't take a lot of focus, bam, the next thing I know, an idea would come. And this just kept happening uh, until I finally had a finished product. And this was very consistent. The other thing that I noticed was that my body would let me know when it wasn't quite right, when I might have just had, you know, a word that could have been better and I would be going back through the song and then my body would just kind of twitch or, you know, just give me some little clues that, come on, you know, you need to dig deeper. And I would be like, oh no, I want it to be finished. I want it to be done. But it is worth taking the time to dig deeper. The real aha came though when later on I was doing other businesses that had nothing to do with my vocation of and my training of being a musician and a songwriter. I uh, started an internet marketing company and it was a volunteer rewards program and it had a lot of functionality. And you know, trusting that my instincts, I, it had led me to some really great uh, developers who did a great job for me, but a lot of times there would be functionality that, uh, you know, I'd have something that I needed done that had not been done before and they didn't know how to do it or how to solve that problem. And I would uh, just be driving or, you know, you know, distracting myself in my normal way and bam, you know, there would be the solution. Sometimes in an image, you know, sometimes just an idea. And it usually was pretty low tech, which the web developers liked and my budget liked. So, you know, I learned to start transferring this to problem solving in other areas and uh, it works, it works consistently. So, you know, I hope this has been of value to you and I hope that you will pay attention because this really is learning how to decipher the difference between your conscious mind talking and your inner self talking. So there's going to be a lot of videos coming about this topic and many others from 2050 Club members as well as myself. So I hope you will subscribe to our channel and visit us at 2050club.com where we just give you all kinds of information about the future, emerging technologies, uh, practices and guidelines for the level two human. So stay tuned and we will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.